All right, Underworld. That's much, that's much better than Nosedive uh, <laughs> sniping me with... Uh, with... Thingy. To be fair, the, with the NAF... Um, they're not on... Like, they do have bribes and halfling chefs for goblins and halflings, but ogres don't get anything, so ogres are just fucked. Ogres should be able to get, you know, something if you wanted to make them competitive, but then why should they? So, you know, is, is, is it fair that the tier three is undercompensated? Probably, they are meant to be bad, aren't they? The only reason to take ogres in NAF really is to get the prize for the most cars. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, that that would be great, Moridam. I'd be I'd be up for that. I'd be up for sniping with halfling teams. That's absolutely fine. Kick because it's in the rain. Um, I should I should unmute, shouldn't I? Right. And loners on the LOS. Right. To be fair, it's hard to tell us between blitzers and catchers. Call something like spinning for sage. <laughs> that would be amazing, Jam Toe. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, why shouldn't ogres be good? I think ogres should be better than they are. But, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I would like... I would like ogres to be better than they are. I think, I think goblins and halflings are fine where they are. You know, I think it's fine to have some teams that are harder to win with other than, than others. Um... Ogres are like one of the best Warhammer teams, aren't they? I mean, like, one of the best Warhammer armies is Ogres. So, and not even one of the best, the best by a mile is Ogres. Oh, wow. First action, first action, big guy. Lona reroll, fail. Outstanding. Yeah, flings and, flings and goblins have a cool niche. Yeah, and the background is ogres are, are the, have won the blood bowl, and it's just fucking stupid. In the law, yeah, exactly, yeah. Blitzer goblin. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the NAF guys are t ultra conservative as well. I'd think they probably wouldn't wouldn't accept anything really, to be honest. Which is fair enough, and it's their prerogative. Give them orc throwers. Um, orcs are a funny one. Ogres are a funny one because, yeah, obviously ogres. Why not just make them good? Why not just fucking make them good? Like, they don't have to be garbage, do they? They could just be good. I'd be okay with a tier one over team. Just 
lose Bonehead and give them general access. <laughs> That's what I'd do. This guy's a bit of a madman, isn't he? Going straight for the potato. You can't have snot. They can't be competitive with snotlings. Um. Yeah, humans should be slightly better to reflect the fluff. Yeah, obviously. Um. But. Nah, because Ogre's not away. It's, they're still shit. They're still shit. You've still got to start like this. Like you do, which is just a shit start. And it takes you ages to get to the 8th Ogre anyway. So, 8 Ogres is not the answer. Not away, Ogres is not the answer. Not in my opinion, anyway. Right, he's got a block. With block. Right, this is actually this is actually not easy to get two dice in the ball. Because obviously he would like to go there to assist the two dice, but then he's gonna get surfed if it goes wrong, and probably even if it goes right he's gonna get surfed. So Looking at loner dodges to get the assists in um, is not good, is it? And also can't block with blit, can't blitz with block. Let's go then, loner, loners to the rescue. A death. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Yeah, shy's in it. <laughs> It's with a catcher after the GFI though. I guess that was a that was a dodge, so I guess yeah. Oh god he didn't serve us. Oh it was a bolt down anyway. Died for a good cause, yeah. Why oh, is Grognard a thing? I've heard of Grognard. Ogre throw a five three three eight with passing to your hands would be amazing. I think the I don't know, I it's hard because you obviously like the old ogres when they could have about eight ogres or something, ten ogres I think. Fumble, fumble cut it down to ten ogres I think, and they were impossible for bash teams to deal with because you couldn't get a, you couldn't make a two dice block at all. Um, but then elves completely ruined them, so it's it, it is tough with um, it is tough with. Uh, Ogres. It was 12, but then they reduced it to 10. 
They limited them to 10, then they limited them to 8, and now they're down to 6. Yeah, they just give them back goblins. Because the reason the reason for taking away goblins was that um, obviously with them being able to have goblins, it makes the goblin team completely fucking pointless, doesn't it? Um, which is which is a good point. Why would you ever use goblins when you could have uh, you know them? This isn't fucking easy. One dice blitz, what the fuck? Of course it's a skull. Too many rolls, isn't there? Can't make a can't make a two. I mean, to be fair, maybe they're just taking the easy way out by, um, by saying, by making them shit, you know, and by pretending they want them to be shit, because then they don't actually have to try and make them, like, balanced off fun in any way. Maybe, maybe that's it, you know, fucking BBRC, piece of shit, Galak. With all due respect. None. do anything to say I've got to get out in front of here. I guess I could just base him there. And he could go for the 3-2 to get out in front. Good lad. British Birds Rarities Committee. 
Yeah, the, the Blood Bowl Rules Commission, you know, maybe they had this problem that everybody in chat's having, is how do you make ogres, like, decent? It's hard. It's hard. It's much harder to slot a team into Tier 1 and not be overpowered than it is to just make a shit team that's Tier 2.5 or Tier 3, isn't it? It's easy to make a shit team. Anyone can make a shit team that isn't overpowered. But it's really hard to make a team that would... That is as is as good as Wood Elves that people wouldn't reject. <laughs> you know? Like if 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 Wood Elves didn't exist, and somebody made that team, people would say, "Fuck off! You can't start with a Blodge Leap guy who's movement eight. What fucking planet are you on?" And they can get and they can get one turners ridiculously easily, and their linemen are seventy k and amazing. You know, nobody and and lizard men. Could you imagine lizard men not being in the game and and them, and them creating lizard men? People would say you're off your fucking trolley. What planet are you on creating lizard? Men? They're ridiculous. So, and they would be right exactly, Doctor Mombosco. They would be right. And you know, so that's the thing, isn't it? Oh, are we glorious? Oh. Fuck. Fuck off! Um, of course, not fuck off to Noffa. Um, thank you very much, Noffa. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> um, welcome to Team Fantastic. I was, of course, saying fuck off to this bastard who's called a death and a death and a fucking cas. But um, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, Noffa. <laughs> it was. It was, it was just, it's just the dice, isn't it? Like, just fuck off, dice. But, um, thank you very much. <laughs> and it's, it's fair enough, I mean, I'd be fouling too. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with the fouls. It's just annoying, isn't it? It's just annoying when your players are getting banged on. Oh, got him. And what's he? A lineman. Every non L team has the drawback of not being elves. <laughs> Is it the skinks? It's the fact that they've got. Well, a black orc is four four two nine for eighty k, and a saurus is six four one nine, which is outrageous. Like it's outrageous how good saurus are, and croxigors are really good, and it's just they just get every. Listen, men are an unbelievable team. That nobody would accept them if they made them now. So. Oh man, that would be wild jump toss. That would be wild. You'd have a team full of legend noblars. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I think um I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. I, but I think that's maybe it. I think maybe that's I think maybe that's why you know, ogres and pact and everything is so shit because it's easy to make a shit team than it, you know, than a like a balanced good team. Anyone can make a shit team, can't they? It's easy. It's easy to make a shit team. And no one's going to complain. So maybe that was it. They just took the easy way out. Making ogres complete shit and making, you know, packed shit and everything else. Yeah, Nurglings, yeah. Yeah, Ogres could have Blitzers and shit. They could have, um... Can I get a double surf here? I guess not, because I'd have to Blitz there. He could Blitz the Goblin, then he could just block him. I like blitzing goblins. 
Even though I never fucking hurt them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough. It's tough because you would just, but then you, they could be tier one, but it would be really, it would be really hard to make ogres tier one and not tier zero, wouldn't it basically or whatever. A seventh ogre. They could have a man eater, couldn't they? They could have a yeti. They could have. Uh, they could have a man eater without bonehead. Something like that. Man eaters are the, like the elite, elite ogres, aren't they? So they could have one guy with like general access and without bonehead. But like ogre armies are fucking amazing. I was going to surf that guy. Well done. Well done, him. Well done, that man. How dumb is it when you Google Ogre Army? It doesn't come up Warhammer, like, fucking Games Workshop website. That's so fucking nuts. Where even is it? Where even is the Games Workshop? That's crazy. Good busters. Wait, they've changed ogres. Ogres are ogres now. Are you serious, bro? Yeah, man eaters are the fucking badasses. Right. God, this is actually tough, isn't it? I don't even know what to do. Probably just potato. One dice. One dice blitz without block. Can't dodge away. One dice block with block. There you go. It's always a pro tactic, I've heard. Fuck, there's a guy there. Oh my god. Well, yes, I didn't like the Warhammerification of it either, Ducky. But, um, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Make the GFI just because I've got the re-roll. <laughs> Roll the double one. <laughs> Typical. B 
But yeah, that's the thing. As like as a race, as a race, you can't. Do you know what I mean? The reason that I would say I iron guts or money is or whatever is because why would the why would a normal ogre have bonehead, but an ogre blitzer not have bonehead? That that's the problem, isn't it? You know, that's the problem that you face with. Uh, With ogres there, kind of thing. Let's start. Cool. I didn't see what he did. I GFI'd as well. He's got no rerolls though. So blitz him and then score. Yeah, I shouldn't have skipped that. Wow. I think it's really hard to make ogres like fine. Really hard to make ogres fine. Oh yeah, pro ogres. That's a good idea, good cat. That's a good idea. Give every single ogre pro. That's that's not even bad. Ogres weren't OP, but they weren't OP, but they were kind of OP against bash teams, whilst being completely useless against. Uh, Agility teams, so you know it's a funny, it's a funny old game. I think vamps would be pretty OP if vam if all vamps just came with pro. To be honest. Oh wow! I can I can completely uh, potato now, can't I? Just fucking potato. <laughs> I can go all the way over there. Yeah, vamps are way better. Wow, he's pretty cool, so I think that. Pretty cool. Yeah, pro vamps would be. Yeah, that would be pretty OP, I think. But. But then they they wouldn't be OP, would they? They would just be way better than tier two. So they might just be like normal tier one teams. So yeah. So yeah, they wouldn't necessarily. They wouldn't necessarily be good. They wouldn't necessarily be too good if they had pro vamps.
Yeah, that's true, Carl Duda, that's true. Yeah, but the problem is them being tier zero, isn't it, Jam Toast? That's the problem. That's the problem. Is no money on the line. I like how they've gone nine and they just skip season season ten. I like how they they've made this they've made this they've made this big announcement yet they've just skipped season ten. Alright, I can do with three dice before scoring. <laughs> a captured and brainwashed water, so Yeah, it's true Wimpy Ranger. I'd like I'd like a way to reduce the insane look that there is. Cause yes, over the long term. Orcs will take less cars than Wood Elves and what have you. And better players will give away less blocks and take less cars. But in individual matches, there's a, there's a lot of variance, isn't there, in individual matches. And the, the biggest thing is with removals. Like if somebody makes a double one on the only GFI they make in the g entire game, then maybe they should have played better and not had to make that GFI. But... When their opponent just makes three blocks and casts three guys on turn one, it's just a bit crap, isn't it? Managed to not skill anybody up in this game. He's on five, he's on three, he's on eight, and he's on three. <laughs> Managed to somehow not skill anybody up. Um, the expansion isn't really different from Legendary. If you've already got Blood Bowl 2, um, then you get the expansion. That's exactly the same as just buying the exp the uh, Legendary Edition straight off kind of thing. Of course. Ooh. What I could do is base the ball. <laughs> kind of. Oh, so do a blitz. So because I haven't used dodge, I haven't used my reroll, I can uh, go for the GFI to hit. Ha and start off with the ball. Thanks very much. Alright. Early October. Oh man. I'll give him a smiley face, that'll make him happy. Just elf things. Four players free. Base the three guys in the backfield and start off the ball. Ridiculous, isn't it? The funny thing is that Ogres in Warhammer Fantasy Battle 
are ridiculously, ridiculously powerful. Like, I I don't know when, like, you know, how how the rules have changed since Age of Sigma and stuff. Be- before Age of Sigma, like, whatever that was, 8th edition or whatever, ogres were far and away the most powerful army in, in Warhammer. And it's just funny that they're shit in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it's the fucking the cannons that went right. It's the fucking the fucking cavalry. What the fuck was the cavalry? Um, the cavalry was insane, and the cannons were insane, and the wizards were, were insane. They were, yeah, Jirinal. They were in eight third or whatever. Mornfang cavalry, ridiculous, absolutely fucking ridiculous, Mornfang. God. God, they're dumb. They're so dumb. Yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Demons were great for a while. Yeah, that's true. They got their money from people, and then they nerfed them into the ground. <laughs> it's pretty much what they did. Yeah, the the cannons. I can't remember what the cannons were. Um were called or anything, but they had like cannons that were, that were fucking chariots that run around that had, that had cannons on. Look at that, he tries the hand off, fails it and gets the ball back. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. Iron blasters, yeah, they're fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Oh yeah, tons of cheap casters, yeah, that was good. Yeah, cannons were, the cannons were amazing. The uh, the wizard the ogre wizards were amazing. Like, how the fuck can an ogre wizard be good? Like, what what even what what is somebody on to think they should have good wizard? They should have good magic, and they had good magic as well. Like, what the actual fuck? Guess I should have made that through. No, I couldn't have made it three dice. You know, like fair enough if you decide, all right, ogres, ogres are big monsters, so we'll make their monstrous cavalry the best monstrous cavalry in the game. That that's like something you can you can kind of understand. But why give them the best cannon in the game? Why give them the best magic in the game? It was like it was crazy. Wee, where's he gone? I like that that bug's still in there. That's one of my favourite graphical glitches. Oh yeah, for the ogre to sell them. Now, honestly, Jiranal, I really don't think they do these things on purpose. I honestly really don't think Games Workshop does it on purpose. I think... Because, um... People were talking about it. You know, the... It was to do with the dreadnoughts, and they were they were they were focused on the dreadnoughts just because they're big sellers and stuff, and they they don't they don't know what their rules are and stuff. They don't understand what what what's good in the game. They really don't. They don't know what's what's wrong with their. Uh, they don't know what's wrong with their games, and they don't know what's powerful and everything. So I think half of it's just by mistake when they when they make things overpowered. To be honest.
Yeah, I mean to be fair, when we played, I I played them once um, in in Legendary Edition, in Legendary Edition, in uh, you know when they were when they were really powerful. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only played them once while they were really powerful, but... Oh shit, he's got block. Alright, panic click on the end zone time. Um, but I looked at all the rules of, you know... I was I was on I was on all these different forums and everything and everybody like the the pro players like you know the England tournament team and everything and they were all complaining about how ogres just made everything else pointless and uh, panic panic click on the end zone yeah that's true Lucky's run yeah exactly. I don't know about seventh. Uh, what, what, whenever they brought out, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Jump toast. Um, Strawpole.com and straw. Um. Right, I'm trying to fucking speak English here, and it's not. It's diff. It's difficult in the middle of trying to play a game of blood ball. Um, <laughs> Strawball.com, Strawball.me. Fuck you. I like that. Um, oh yeah, straw. I don't like Strawball.com. No. Strawball.me. There you go. I'll vote. I'll vote vote for Kurgol there. Um, <laughs> he's got three fuck yous so far. Um, yeah, that's true, Dead Sight. That's true. I, <laughs> I think some things they did on purpose. But some things they didn't, you know? I think some things they, they know when they're making something ridiculous. But I think a lot of the time, the people who make the rules just don't understand the game themselves. And... If they make new rules for everything, some of it will be good, you know? Like, when Eldar came out, Wave Serpents are the best thing, and everyone already had or, or, already had Wave Serpents. So it was, um... That wasn't so good. Obviously, they had the, the, uh, the what's it called? The Wraith Knights were amazing. But, like, making new units amazing is, uh... But, you know, and it's easy. You remember the ones that were amazing, like, right? but look at Necrons, right? When they brought out Necrons, you, you know, you say that. They brought out Necrons, scrapped your army and buying new on its ship now. Well, some of your Necron warriors were still all right. And, uh, and the thing was, look how much of that army was shit. You know, like, the, uh, what was shit in the army? Like, loads of the new rules were shit. The, uh... I don't know the names of any of them, because I never used them. But <laughs> but there were loads of things. You know, like the elite units. All of the elite units were garbage. And they probably thought they were good. And they just weren't, were they? I, I, I know this isn't a very good, uh... Like, Praetorians and stuff, and Triarch Stalkers, and all this kind of shit. We're all crap. And did they know that annihilation barges would be the best thing? Did they did they know that wraiths would be the best thing? Did they know that that having the planes were so good? I think they probably realised that planes were good when they just made the rules for planes. So by default, every single plane was good except the look at the dark look at the dark uh, angels. They brought the dark angels codex, and they were like. We've got these amazing flyers, and they hyped up how good those flyers were, and the rules were trash. They were complete garbage. The Dark Angel flyers. You couldn't. You couldn't think of worse rules for them. They were horrific. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. Shitty game wise. So you know, it's it's it's. You you obviously notice the ones where they're powerful, 
um, more than all the shit ones. So I really don't. Um, I really don't know how how much truth there is in Games Workshop always make the new thing overpowered. I just think that's what people people notice when their when their choices have become invalid. You know, more than more than. Uh, you know, when they can't speak English. <laughs> How do I even one dice this guy? Maybe I don't mind it. Maybe I just steam in minus two dice him. Got him. <laughs> oh, what a great laugh. Elves. Oh, boo. Yeah, stand close and pick the player hand off too. Yeah, and also if you want to if you want to pass to somebody adjacent, you actually have to click on your player, and then select pass. Because I've seen people who want to pass to somebody next to them get a star player point, and uh, they don't. Got my canoring threat ready. Right. That's like a ridiculous dodge. Four two. Four to pick it up. But then is there anything better? Two plus. And then pass it. Let's go. Double one. <laughs> Make the five plus dodge and then double one the two plus dodge. <laughs> That's elves for you, isn't it? That's fucking elves for you. <laughs> Make the cheeky five plus. Fail the two plus. Oh shit, it's my sidestep. Oh well, it doesn't matter anyway. Ah, I see. Yeah, cause I, yeah, I looked at my high elves and mine, mine was still there. It was a costly game with the uh, thrower dying. Three journeymen for the next match. I oh, could have thrown the the goblin after he caught it as well. Could have scored. Early October, all right. 90k, I don't know. See, that just shakes. It looks like it doesn't re-roll. I really hate that. I think they should have, like, a spinning dice just so that you know that it's re-rolled. I think that's important for people to just see it 
so they know that it's worked and they've rolled the same thing again. Just having it not move just looks shit, doesn't it? Only 37% catches. He was unlucky with his catches. Unlucky with his going for it. Probably lucky with his dodges, I guess. And really stupid, some were four pluses, I'm sure. Uh, very good dodgings. Not very good go for it. Good pickups and catches. And he gets dodge. And he dies. Oh. So now it's oh, it's only two because one was missed next game. I don't want to buy uh, another catcher though, so I to, guess I'll just save my money for uh, for a while. We'll see our nude. It is. Professional elves, though they've called them Elven Union. Um, yeah, pro elves. They're like worse linemen than high elves, but better uh, blitzers and catchers. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.